Namaste dear children, I am Rega. Welcome to my channel Rega's Knowledge Hub. Today we will see NCRT Classic Science Chapter 3 Mindful Eating A Path to a Healthy Body Short Answer Questions. Children, I have already uploaded videos of chapter explanation and multiple choice questions. Those who have not watched, please go through it. What is the primary reason for the diversity in traditional food consumed across various states of India? There is a diversity in the traditional food consumed across various states of India. We have to state the reasons. The primary reason for diversity in traditional food is that the choice of food in various regions of India varies according to the cultivation of food crops in that particular region, taste preferences, culture and traditions. So what is the primary reason? The choice of food in various regions depends on the cultivation of food crops in that particular region, taste preferences, culture and traditions. What relationship generally exists between traditional food items and locally grown crops in a state? Is there any relationship between traditional food items and locally grown crops in a particular state? The traditional food of any state is usually based on the crops grown in that particular state. So the traditional food of any state is based on the crops cultivated in that particular state. Why are various crops grown in different regions of India? In different regions of India we have different types of crops. Why? Various crops are grown in different regions of India due to the country's diverse soil and climate types. So the cultivation of crops depends upon the type of soil and the type of climate. The next one, besides locally grown crops, what other factors influence the choice of food in different Indian regions? So, what are the factors influencing the choice of food in different regions of India besides locally grown crops? So, other factors include taste preferences, culture and traditions of the people in that particular region. Name one traditional and one modern method of cooking. A traditional cooking method is using a chulha while a modern method is using a gas stove. The next one, what traditional tool was used for grinding and what is its modern equivalent? Traditionally, grinding was done manually using a silbata, but nowadays an electrical grinder is used. What are the three factors that have led to changes in culinary practices over time? These changes may be due to factors such as technological development, improved transportation and better communication. So these factors led to changes in culinary practices over time. Why do marathon runners drink glucose water during and after a race? Marathon runners drink glucose water because glucose provides instant energy. This is the reason glucose provides instant energy. Which are the different components of food? Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Carbohydrates and fats are energy giving foods. Proteins are body building food. Then vitamins and minerals they are protective food. Name three sources of carbohydrates, wheat, rice and potato. Why are ladoos rich in ghee and nuts preferred in the traditional diet during winters? Ladoos rich in ghee and nuts provide energy that helps to keep us warm during winters. Name three plant-based sources of fat. 
groundnuts, walnuts and coconuts. They are plant-based sources of fat. Why are carbohydrates and fats called energy-giving foods? Carbohydrates and fats are called energy-giving foods because they provide us with the energy for performing various activities. How does the fat accumulated by polar bears help them during hibernation? The fat accumulated by polar bears serve as an energy source that supports them during their months-long winter sleep called hibernation, enabling them to survive without eating. The fat accumulated by polar bears serves as an energy source. This will support their hibernation, months-long winter sleep. So they can survive without eating. Why are proteins considered an important part of our food? Proteins are an important part of our food because they help in the growth and repair of our body. Proteins are body building food. They help in the growth and repair of our body. Name two excellent plant sources of protein, pulses and soya bean. Next one, name two animal sources of protein, milk and egg. Why do sports people need proteins in larger quantities? Sports persons need proteins in larger quantities to build their muscles. Proteins are body building food. Why are protein rich foods often cold due to their function? Protein rich foods are called body building foods. Next one. Why is the right amount of protein crucial for growing children? The right amount of protein is crucial for growing children for their proper growth and development. So, protein is essential for their growth and development. Where do edible mushrooms typically grow? And what nutrients are they a good source of? Edible mushrooms typically grow in dark and moist places and are good sources of protein. What disease commonly affected sailors during long voyages in earlier times? What were its symptoms? Sailors often suffered from scurvy. And what were its symptoms? Scurvy is characterized by bleeding and swollen gums. What is the specific nutrient deficiency that causes scurvy? And what food items help cure it? Scurvy is caused by deficiency of vitamin C, which is present in citrus fruits like lemons and oranges. What health problem was prevalent in the Himalayan region and northern plains of India in the 1960s? Symptoms of swelling at the front of the neck were prevalent, indicating the disease goiter. What caused the swelling at the front of the neck, goiter, in the population of these Indian regions? It was due to a deficiency of iodine in the soil leading to a lack of iodine in the local food and water supply. So goiter is a disease caused by the deficiency of iodine. How did the government of India address the problem of iodine deficiency in the affected regions? The government of India made an effort to Supplement common salt with iodine for preparing iodized salt. So, how did the government of India address the problem of iodine deficiency? By supplementing iodized salt. What is iodized salt? Iodized salt is simply common salt mixed with the required quantities of salts of iodine. 
common salt mixed with the salts of iodine. What are nutrients and what are the major ones found in our food? Nutrients are food components that provide energy, support growth and help repair and protect our body from diseases and maintain various bodily functions. The major nutrients include carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins and minerals. Why are vitamins and minerals called protective nutrients? They are called protective nutrients because they safeguard our body from various diseases and keep us healthy. What happens to some nutrients in vegetables during cooking? Some nutrients like vitamin C can be lost from vegetables due to high heat during cooking, making them softer and less crisp. Next one, what are dietary fibers or roughage and how do they benefit our body? Dietary fibers, also known as roughage, do not provide nutrients but are essential for digestion. They are essential for digestion. They will not provide any nutrients but they are essential for digestion. They help our body eliminate undigested food and ensure the smooth passage of stools. How does water contribute to keeping our body healthy? Water is an essential part of our diet as it helps the body absorb nutrients from food. It also plays a crucial role in removing waste from the body through processes like sweat and urine. So water is useful to absorb nutrients from food. It also helps to remove waste from the body. How to test for starch? Take a small quantity or a small piece of the food item like potato, bread, boiled rice, etc. Then place the food item on a separate dish. Using a dropper, put 2 to 3 drops of diluted iodine solution directly onto the food item. Carefully observe if there are any changes in the color of the food item. If the food item turns blue-black color, it indicates the presence of starch. If no such color change occurs, starch is likely absent. How to test proteins? Prepare the food. Make a paste or powder of your food item. Then mix with water. So put a small amount of this food into a test tube and add 2 or 3 teaspoons of water and then shake well. Then add some chemicals. Add 2 drops of copper sulfate solution followed by 10 drops of caustic soda solution. Then observe. Shake the tube and wait a few minutes. If the contents turn violet, protein is present. Are nutritional requirements the same for everyone? Explain. No, nutritional requirements are not same for everyone. The type and amount of nutrients needed in a diet can vary significantly based on factors like age, gender, physical activity level and health status. So, nutritional requirements are not same for everyone. This depends on factors like age, gender, physical activity level and health status. What is a balanced diet? A balanced diet is defined as a diet that contains all essential nutrients along with sufficient roughage and water in the right amounts for the proper growth and development of the body. So, a diet that contains all essential nutrients plus sufficient roughage and water in the right amounts for the proper growth and development of the body is called a balanced diet. What are junk foods and what are their typical nutritional characteristics? Junk foods are highly caloric foods primarily due to high sugar and fat content. They are nutritionally poor containing very low amounts of proteins, minerals, vitamins and dietary fibers. 
Why is frequent consumption of junk food considered unhealthy? Frequent consumption of junk food is unhealthy because it can lead to obesity and various other health problems as these foods lack essential nutrients required for proper bodily function. What are millets and why are they considered highly nutritious? Millets are small sized grains like jowar, bajra, ragi and sanwa native to India. They are considered highly nutritious because they are good sources of vitamins, minerals like iron and calcium and dietary fibers contributing significantly to a balanced diet. What are foot miles? Foot miles refer to the entire distance travelled by a bag of wheat or any other food item from the producer to the consumer. So, foot miles refer to the entire distance travelled by food items from, from the producer to the consumer. State three reasons why reducing foot miles is important. Reducing foot miles is important because it helps to cut down the cost and pollution during transport, supports local farmers and keeps our food fresh and healthy. So reducing foot miles is important because it helps to cut down the cost and pollution during transportation. Then it will support local farmers. It will keep our food fresh and healthy. Why should we avoid wasting food on our plates? We should avoid wasting food because it disrespects the time and effort put in by farmers and other community members to get the food from the farm to our plates. How does eating local food help reduce food miles? Eating local food helps reduce food miles by shortening the distance food travels from the producer to the consumer thereby lessening transportation cost and pollution. Eating local food will help to reduce the distance food travels from the producer to the consumer. So transportation cost will be less, pollution will be less. Children, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. We will see you in the next video. Thank you.